Hello friends, a very good afternoon to all of you. I would like to welcome you all in our afternoon session, which we do on every Saturday, uh, sharp at 12 p.m. Uh, thank you very much for joining for today's session. So today we are going to talk about something which you, me, and everybody have it. Some people have it directly, some people have it indirectly. Before we talk about uh, today's topic, um, I would strongly, strongly request all the viewers whosoever are joining us today from different part of the world, please guys, participate in the discussion. Ask as many questions as you can and also I would like to hear your opinion, your viewpoint, and your thought process so that we can make this session as interactive, as communicative as we can. And I'm pretty sure many of you uh, enjoy it on a weekly basis. And uh, thank you to all who are our regular viewers. My humble request to all of you, please make sure spread the word as much as you can. Tell your friends, family members as well to become part of this Saturday session so that they can also share some of their opinion or we can help each other to become better, to grow as a better human being. You all know about the owl who has a capacity and capability to watch in the night. You and me as a human being, if there's a complete dark, we will have a kind of understanding that we cannot see because it's complete dark. Whereas and another animal which we call as a nocturnal animal, the owl can actually see very clearly, rather he can see better in dark. So for him, the sunlight is the darkness, whereas for us, darkness is the darkness. So absence of sunlight is the darkness. So it's a different way or different viewpoint that owl carry or we as a human being carries. So for an owl, the darkness is the vision. Whereas for us, the light is the vision. Now, same thing happens in our life. Of course, we have a physical capability to see the things. Many people think this as a vision. But I think vision is much more above and beyond than this. So today, we are going to talk about a different vision. We, we are going to talk about vision of Save Max. But I just wanted to have a... Uh, a general discussion about the vision, especially in entrepreneurship, many times what happens, people keep talking about, and I've seen so many people talk about vision, vision, vision. But what exactly is this? And how does it work? So, of course, when we have our eyes open, we can see a lot of things physically. But there is something beyond than this where we get connected to ourselves, we get connected to our inner self, and we start looking inwards in our brain, inwards in our mind, as well as in, uh, I would say, in our, in our body, so inner side of the body. As many of you know that uh, I have started doing some meditation as well a little while ago, and there's something interesting which I want to share with you. I know this is a little off the topic, uh, many times I have a complicated problem which I want to solve and I'm not getting the solution for that. I'm thinking, thinking, thinking a couple of days. Uh, all of a sudden, I wake up an early morning and uh, start doing meditation at 4 o'clock. And somehow, the problem which I'm working on from last few days, that comes into my thought process. And I start getting the solution for that problem. So it looks like Every single 
entanglement of that problem is opening automatically and the solution automatically comes in front of me. So, of course, there is something which is, which is much more than the phys physical vision of the eyes. And I think that vision which we are talking about today is something which gives us the problem to the solution, which gives us a better understanding of the future and which always helps us to reach onto a different level of success. So we are going to discuss about what is the vision of SaveMax for 2021 and in next five years. Because this is very, very important for us to understand that what is the purpose of our business and what is the vision which we carry. Now, more than understanding, it is very, very important to share that vision with the team members because they are the one who are going to work with me on that vision. And also, I personally feel it is more important to keep talking about that vision and keep spreading about it. Because when you keep talking about what you want to achieve, then the energy in your surroundings get together and start working towards that. So we are going to discuss a lot about this, but uh, we have some interesting personalities who are joining us today as Kamal is becoming a regular guest on the show, I would say, or you're becoming a host on the show, Kamal. I'm not too sure. Who is your role here? <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know, but I've lately started enjoying these uh, shows and uh, I feel there is uh, a lot which is, in fact, uh, getting changed or rather I, when I meet people, they come and say that we heard this on the discussion. So. I feel there is a good chunk of people watching us, listening to our shows, and there is a lot of value addition that is happening. So I, I feel lucky to be a part of this, you know. Excellent. Thank you, Kamal. Thank you very much. And uh, we have uh, some of our regular friends who are joining us. Trilok is there. Simi is there. Rutika is there. Uh, Kamal, why don't we do something interesting today? We took Trilok on that day. Uh, can I request Rutika to join us today? Uh, Ruth, I'm you meeting, are... although, uh, I'm meeting Trilok although in office today, so uh, oh, really? I hope if they are available, then definitely we can take them. No, I'm pretty sure Ruthika will be, she will be at home. So, uh, Ruthika, if you are there, if you are watching, I, have, I saw some uh, remarks from Ruthika, so I'm pretty sure she's watching. Ruthika, if you feel comfortable, you're more than welcome to join us for today's session. And Kamal, who are we, who are we introducing today? So, I will give you the charge to introduce uh, uh, who is joining us today. So uh, we have a charming personality uh, joining us and uh, he is uh, my colleague and he joined us all, Save Max almost a month back and uh, very, uh, very enthusiastic and very uh, full of energy, I would say. And uh, he is helping me a lot in uh, expansion of our business. And as you rightly said, the vision, I would say like we are getting more uh, young people joining the stream to carry the bandwagon and we are getting old Raman let me tell you let's face the truth okay how far we say and uh, I know you're not going to take it but still I will, every time you will say that we are getting old now so we have Tyler here with us and a young guy uh, dashing personality with a smiling face and good sense of humor Tyler most <laughs> welcome so Tyler, hey everybody thanks for having me good afternoon sir uh, Tyler how old are you Sorry, it's a wrong question on that. <laughs> uh, I'm 23 years old. See, come on, he's two years old, elder than me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking. So he's 23. <laughs> so, uh, but you know what, Tyler? I think you have to work a little bit on yourself. You look too old. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a fresh shape, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, who else is joining us, Kamal today? Uh, I think uh, Sachin is there too. Um, I just met him a few minutes back. Yeah. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, Kamal, Tyler, Raman. Good afternoon. Sachin, how are you? I'm good, Raman. I'm good. So I think uh, one of you have to take charge today because I'm I'm feeling a little bit lazy today. I really mm -hmm. want to sleep. Is it a little bit lazy or a little bit old? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so, uh, Kamal, I got a message here from Akhtar Abbas Jaffrey, uh, and uh, Akhtar is saying, I'm here too. Uh, Akhtar, please let me know if you want to join us today. I would uh, need your email ID or any of the link or any of the uh, uh, contact details so that I can send you the link. Uh, or you can uh, actually send an email to sachin.gupta at savex.ca and Sachin can forward the link to you and you can you can join. So I think Akhtar wants to join us today. So Kamal, we were talking about the vision. What's your what's your personal opinion? What is what exactly is the vision? Okay, um, according to me, I feel that vision is really a broad term and uh, a person can use in many different ways or it is actually useful say when it comes to your personal self when it comes to your professional uh, it is always linked with certain goals i would say and vision is uh, basically for me an outline of uh, your uh, expectation from you or maybe something that can um, uh, that it's a roadmap for your goals rather you know which you want to achieve so that's what i feel that vision is and uh, i mean if you say that about company about myself there is a lot which we can talk about vision you know perfect so tyler uh, i know you are an avid book reader which i really love about you and uh, i still remember like you know when you came for the interview i really enjoyed that discussion uh, we were we were talking so many other things rather than uh, talking about business and all that stuff so i really and also, like uh, uh, in a couple of la last few meetings, like I was really very impressed with your uh, clarity of the thought process. You know, we were talking about emotional intelligence on that day. Uh, so, what what do you think about the vision? What is your definition of vision? Uh, well, uh, when I'm thinking of a vision, um, I'm thinking of a dream. Uh, of a passion, but uh, going a little bit further than just a dream, it's a, a dream with a, a plan, uh, a plan for action and putting forth into action some steps that you can take to achieve your dream. Hmm. That's that's quite interesting as well. I, I really appreciate yeah. that. And uh, Tyler, this is what I love about you. You're very precise on your thought process, right? Yeah, I find uh, accuracy in language is very important. Conveying the correct intent for what you're trying to is, uh, is a really important thing. Perfect, perfect. Um, Sachin? Yes. Uh, what, what do you think about vision? What's your definition? I would say, Raman, again, right now, we're not talking about as the same as corporate or individual, but as a vision, what I can I can say is this. Vision is something uh, thinking, or I would say, uh, thinking about something which you cannot see it right now, or you know, uh, where you want to, re uh, to reach, and creating a roadmap, how to reach there. Huh. So that is very important that, you know, with something which doesn't exist today, you are thinking to create that. Yep. And along with that, you are making a roadmap also for that, because if you do not have a roadmap, it is like daydreaming. Right. And, and I do agree with you, whatever. Um, that's, a, that's a good way of defining it. Uh, yes. But how about, if we, how about if we say about it, foresightedness about a dream? Uh, is, that, is that something convincing? Yes, along with uh, attached with the roadmap to how to do it. Absolutely, yeah. So, see, uh, putting up the plan together, putting up the roadmap together, yes. and you know, then uh, resources and all this stuff. So, all this starts uh, uh, coming onto the picture when we have to really turn a vision, a dream into a reality. Yes. So, these are so much interconnected. These things are so much related to each other. Uh, uh, Success is not something which you can define in one word because yes. success is a combination, is a mixture of so many good qualities. But again, it all depends upon every single individual have their own definition of success. That is important because success varies from every individual. Individual to individual. Absolutely. Yeah. It's Absolutely. a very subjective, uh, I would say, term. Yeah. So, uh, Kamal, I got a message. I, I think... Uh, 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 Rutika is busy today. She is attending some guests, so she won't be able to join us. But we all can bore we all four can bore each other. <laughs> <laughs> so vision is something that lets you sleep uh, with a motivation to wake up the next day and keep going. Uh, that's the definition from Tilok. Of course, it makes so much sense. 
And guys, I was... For me, the vision... Sorry, Raman. I mean, I am really uh, looking to add something. For me, vision is something that doesn't let you sleep. Let you sleep, that yes. Part. That is what I strongly believe in, you know. I mean, you should be getting any hour of the sleep and saying, oh, where am I, you know. <laughs> um, Kamal, uh, you're, you're very right. And uh, again, like, if we go into the deep sense of the things, and I think that is what uh, Tilok means, whatever why I was, I was reading, a vision is something that lets you sleep with a motivation to wake up the next day and keep going. Uh, it is a different way of defining the same thing. Right. And uh, but let me ask you guys something. How many people actually have dareness to work on the vision, to work on the dream? We all think about so many things in our life. We want to achieve so much. But fortunately, unfortunately, not too many people are willing to pay the price, willing to sacrifice to fulfill or to realize the vision what they see or to fulfill the dreams which don't let them sleep. Right? So what, what's your opinion on to that? Tyler, let's start with you. Well, I mean, uh, there's always going to be difficulties in life, right? Uh, in, in any area that we're, we're you know, uh, operating in. And, um, depending on your vision, there's going to be specific challenges to what that vision is. Um, and just, you know, I think a, a big portion of overcoming those challenges and putting forth a plan for action is going to be um, rooting yourself in positivity and self-care and taking time out of your day to focus on what it is uh, that's going to get you to where you need to be. Um, actually making time and making a schedule for, uh, you know, planning these types of things and putting your intentions into action is, is going to take away a lot of your a uh, lot of your struggles perfect and Kamal I have some more uh, uh, definitions uh, uh, about vision from Amir vision is what we want for ourselves we don't know if we'll wake up the next morning uh, Amir thank you very much it uh, absolutely makes so much sense um, uh, I have another definition from Jitin vision is something what the future looks like and one have the concrete plan to fulfill it, excellent, uh, and Jatin. Uh, of course, uh, I absolutely agree with you as well. Uh, I have an, another one from Nav. Uh, Nav says, uh, who dare wins? Uh, so these are some of the definitions, and I would definitely um, seek other people to participate into that too. So if you want to put up your definition of vision, I would love to see that. Uh, Kamal, I am actually checking on the Google, what is the definition of vision, right? So let's talk about that. So vision, it says the faculty or state of being able to see. Of course, that is, he's talking about a physical vision where, yeah. like, you know, we, we see from the eyes. But I think the other definition, uh, the ability to yeah. think about or plan the future with imagination or wisdom. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think uh, that's also a very relevant uh, definition of vision um also have some another input from tilok i think vision is not only what you can do for your growth but also what you give back to the society in terms of better living um that's a little bit more extension to uh, what we are discussing so let's talk about 2021 um who is the senior most in in all four of us let's start from there age wise so, you ah come on <laughs> <laughs> Then, okay, the only one thing I know, I am younger than Tyler. So rest you guys three decide what, what exactly is your composition and then we can work it accordingly. So uh, Tyler, let's start from you. Um, you are a new member of the team. You have been there for first, it's almost like how many, 30 days in Safe Max? Uh, just over a month, a month and a couple of days now. Month and a couple of days. So first of all, tell me what brought you to Safe Max? Well, um, you know what, honestly, I can say brought me to save Max in terms of making the decision to leave my previous company and come here um, was that I actually saw something in you, Raman, uh, when we had that meeting. I saw that you were leading with a vision and having a leader that has a vision um, is so important 
uh, because this is the direction that the company is going to be moving in and the direction that all of the people in the company are going to be moving in coming from the top. And uh, I found that to be a, a really inspiring thing. And it's not, unfortunately, a quality that every leader has um, in any company. Uh, so that's what brought me, honestly. Hmm. That, that's quite interesting. So were we up to the mark in those 30 and few days? So how have been your experience? Um, I honestly love the office culture. Uh, this is something that I've said um, to anybody who's asked me the same question. It's that uh, you know, the biggest thing I've noticed is that if there's any success here at Save Max, we're all celebrating together. Um, and I believe that that's part of the vision that you have, right? It's that in any department, whether it's the corporate side or the sales agents, when there's a big success, we're all rallying together and we're sharing that experience with one another. Hmm. That I'm a firm believer, Tyler, uh, that success actually uh, does not belong to few people. See, when, when you get success, you need to share that success with others. You have to make sure that you share, uh, you make other people successful because that is what the true meaning of success is. If I get success for myself, that's not really that much relevant because uh, achieving success for myself, I can just, uh, anybody can do it with few of the qualities. Mm -hmm. But the real challenge, the real uh, enjoyment of success is when you see other people getting success with you. And that is where you start enjoying it and that is where um, I think uh, the definition of success becomes more relevant. So let me ask you, what is your vision of Save Max? Being a new team member, now you have you have looked at the culture, you have looked the way uh, Team Save Max work and all that stuff. So what is your individual vision for yourself and for the team and for the company in 2021? Well, as I was saying, it's um, it's not something that every company has this kind of a vision of positivity and, and the culture we have. So um, I'm in a very unique position here, uh, wherein I have the opportunity to help spread this culture through our franchise model. Um, it's really a great thing to see that we're looking to spread the Save Max magic, as we could call it. Um, and my vision is to be able to spread this to you know as many regions as we can and um, allow people to experience the true elation that comes from ha having opportunity and being in a workplace that uh, completely allows positivity and celebration. And uh, what you said in, in just that sharing of success and, and not having it be a selfish thing, um, having it be something where everybody gets to participate in everybody's success and bring everybody uh, up along together. And uh, That's my vision is to be able to spread that. Hmm. Uh, that's quite interesting, uh, uh, Tyler. Uh, thank you very much for sharing such a clear cut and concrete thought process about it. Um, I can see an, another uh, uh, input from Imran. He says, uh, a, a vision is a practical guide for creating plans, setting goals and objectives, making decisions, and coordinating and evaluating the work on any project, large or small. A vision helps keep organization and group focused on. Uh, so come on, the best part is like, look how much participation we are getting. Uh, and you know, I'm so happy that we are able to encourage people to think about their own vision, their own definition of vision. Don't you think that's something interesting? Yeah, and I, I consider, you know, this part as a part of the vision also, like what we carry, you know, what we, uh, as rightly said by Tyler, that we strongly believe in that what, uh, whatever we are promoting, whatever we are uh, promoting in terms of our uh, growth and in terms of so many people can take benefit out of that, you know people can join this bandwagon and actually enjoy the success. They can even match their vision with ours and see that, okay, they are, that is something that they are looking for. I mean, I met a gentleman like uh, almost a week back and I just asked him a question that, uh, what is it that is bringing you to Save Max and why you want to join us? Then he said that whenever I see you people talking or whenever there is a discussion going on about the growth of the company on what you are looking at. I see myself growing with the company and I don't see myself coming here and just working as a one of the franchisee. I see myself working at 10 different locations, owning those locations. So what in short he was trying to explain me was that there is a larger vision, you know, wherein he fits his vision with ours and uh, see himself growing with us. So, I mean, I feel so happy about this. And uh, I think that uh, 
uh, we we are doing uh, something really good here for everyone and we have a win win equation you know built for um, uh, all of us joining to hands together with us yeah uh, uh, sachin uh, kamal is putting up some interesting discussion over here uh, and he is saying like we are doing something good over here and all this stuff kamal uh, is it that we are just trying to be nice to ourselves and we are just trying to we uh, exaggerate the thing so this could be our opinion what about others what others think i think that is what is more important right because so everybody, think, everybody yeah, thinks yeah 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 right so what i can say is like right now you know what uh, motivates me more or to put this point more strongly is the numbers you know see uh, the numbers of people joining hands with us i mean i don't see uh, right now any bigger cities or anything the way we are growing in all parts of gta and that's a clear example of the people who see themselves joining hands right now in last one and a half months we have say 18 big partners joining hands with us and we are growing right so again that is a part of a vision right what we when we started this year we started with that vision that okay we will be present in say almost say 60 or 70 parts of the country we will be going global like and now we are going global as well so i see that it's not that what we are just saying it i see that people are uh, seeing that too and now they have started seeing it from our side of the things i would say say it that way you know yeah absolutely and uh, so sachin yes raman you being on one of the top leadership in save max being yeah. a founder member standing in all the thick and thin either it was raman or it was save max mm -hmm. it's very important for everybody all the viewers to understand your perspective of vision for the company for the organization where do you see save max is leading to in 2021 so before i get to that you know i'll come back to uh, kamal's point wherein you know and your point yes uh, we can we can sit on these kind of forums and talk about what good we are doing as a company but it, it is very important what people think about us right and that gives us the clear indication that are we doing working in the right direction or no so i'll give you one example that today morning when i was driving towards the office i i was speaking to one of the realtor he has no correlation with save max he is doing his his own work for last 10 years and then when i told him that you know what i'm calling from save max and uh, you know we were discussing about one of the property and he said that you know what i am following you guys for last 10 years and when you started and i saw your first sign as list your house for 999 lot of realtors in my brokerage told me that you know what these guys they are spoiling the market and you know all that stuff and i told them that they are going working for a for a, in a direction wherein it this will take to them to a next level and let's wait and watch what will happen and instead he was telling me that he is so proud when he look at us and he see that what he predicted 10 years before to his colleagues today it's coming true and he has no correlation he is not working with sofor save max he might not have any deal, done any deal with save max but this is what he is he is talking about save max yeah so that tells us the idea that yes we are working in in the right direction that we we have a work towards growing people who have joined save max now coming back to the vision for 2021 again i have been a numbered guy uh, i have been always working on the excel sheets on on sales targets and everything so if i have to be very objective that what we are thinking for 2021 2021 we want to have 2 billion dollars of sales volume done under save max umbrella in 2021 we want to have a save max family grown to a thousand plus realtors by end of 2021 that is the core to objective that we are working for for 2021 hmm that's that's quite uh, quite challenging targets uh, and uh, that that's a good very uh, aspiring targets i would say but uh, before that i would uh, i haven't actually read it i have uh, like there's some remarks from rahul grewal it says the industry needs new business model not profit sharing or stock but something in line of subscription something what software industry is doing with the uh, saas software as a service uh, uh, rahul uh, i really appreciate and respect your thought process uh, uh, and of course uh, technology plays a very important role even as far as the real estate is concerned but i'm a firm believer uh, that still in real estate there is something which is called a personal touch 
because this is one of the biggest purchase and it is very emotional decision of life. So there's always something which we call as a personal touch is needed. Either that is for buyers or seller when they are making the transaction or it is an investment or for the sake, even when it is the mentorship. I think it really makes a lot of difference when you have a human interaction. When I talk about mentorship, it is about uh, managing the teams, encouraging others and, you know, providing the support system and all this stuff. Of course, like without any second thought process, technology is a, plays a very important and very major role as far as growing the business because you can scale the business with a fast pace with the help of technology. And uh, uh, I think it's a matter of proud for us that we are working very strong on the technological platforms. Uh, Sachin, would you like to share with all the viewers what SaveMax is doing as far as uh, putting up the top of the line technology for our system? Sure. So that, you know, as far as the technology is concerned, as um, I strongly believe that technology in real estate can uh, can provide ease of service, can make I would say uh, better search capabilities for the for the end users, can provide better service for the realtors. So those elements technology can take care but definitely technology cannot provide end-to-end -end solution in real estate because as you said it's an emotional decision it's the biggest purchase that any buyer or seller can do in their whole whole lifetime you need that human interaction you need that human touch to make this transaction complete now as far as same as you know working towards creating a technology right now uh, we are we are investing a lot towards building uh, uh, our uh, our website platform which is going to be i would say the one uh, window to to provide all real estate requirement to an end user they can get any information related to the real estate whether it's the uh, the, the the active listing right now the sold price insurance information uh, mortgage information any information they can they, they need they can get it on the tip of their fingertip through the, the mobile app through the website plus we are creating an ecosystem wherein we will have a lead generation and lead conversion platform combined with the transaction management software to provide the best service for the realtors the realtors who are working day and night to provide the best service to the end user we were creating a platform for them to make them more efficient so that they can save their time and they become more productive. See, at SaveMax, we work towards making every individual more productive. If I can save half an hour of my realtor time, that half an hour, he might end up doing one extra deal in a year, two extra deal in a year. And that's an extra money going to that realtor's pocket. And that's what the technology platform we are building right now. And, uh, you know, we are launching those platform in phases. So hopefully within three to six months, we will have a good product ready used by the, all the realtors. And hmm. uh, I think we should share uh, uh, with the viewers that on our website, you have a facility to go and check the price. Oh, yes. Yeah. So would you like to share something about that too? So we have we have built an algorithm on our website right now, which is on www.saymax.ca, wherein if you want to get the instant evaluation of any property you can just put the address and within a microsecond the website will give you the approximate value of the property as per current uh, you know properties in the neighborhood so you can get the value of your house or any house as a matter of fact within within seconds hmm. so i would like uh, recommend everybody to go onto the website uh, and and uh, test that that algorithm that we have built and on every passing day, we are improving that algorithm. That's an AI-based AI based algorithm. Every time you, you uh, look for any, I would say, property value, it learns from that. Hmm. Every day the property gets sold, the, it learns from that sold property. That, you know what? This property had all these features. So this got sold for this. Next time, similar properties in the market, this will be the price for that property. So it's an AI-based platform. And uh, it's very advanced platform. Perfect. So let's go back to Kamal and Tyler. Let's see what they are doing. I hope they are not sleeping. Tyler, are you awake? Oh, I've never been more awake in my life. <laughs> <laughs> so
So tell us, what do you think? How important technology is in the life, especially in the business, especially in the real estate? What's your opinion on that? I think technology is a fantastic tool to help bridge the gap between human connections, right? One human right. to another human. There's always going to be a, a place for human connection in, in any industry, especially in sales. And, and that's the most important aspect. And um, what technology allows us to do is share information quicker than ever and uh, uh, make things easier for us so that we can focus on the important things, which is connecting with one another. Um, and that's a great thing. Hmm. Good. Um, come on. What about you? See, I mean, I always believe that the way the things are going, technology definitely is going to play a key role, and it is even today. And uh, but somehow, I strongly believe, and I agree with the point that uh, Mr. Sachin made that you cannot uh, take out the human element, especially in our kind of business, where because. A person is going for his uh, biggest um, purchase of his lifetime, you know, where he actually wants to see who is sitting, uh, you know, the other side of the desk and who he is dealing with, right? So that element will always be there and that personal touch will always make this um, business go to, you know, a different level. And uh, any any given point of time, you cannot remove that, um, you know, the emotional touch or a personal touch from this business, you know. Hmm. And also, uh, Sachin, uh, uh, Rutika has reminded a very uh, interesting thing. A free rent listing is also one of the best feature uh, because we have uh, put up a feature over there on the website where if you want to rent your property, you are eligible to put your property on our website, which attracts a lot of traffic because the way we, con we conduct our business and all that stuff. So anybody can go on the website www.savemax.ca and you can put your rental property free of cost there. There's a big database. There's a big uh, database of, rea of uh, uh, tenants. And uh, of course, after that, uh, we can help you out to, uh, to vet the process, like, you know, to check their credit, uh, to find out their job and their credibility as as far as their tenancy is concerned. So Sachin, do you want to talk a little bit about that feature on the website where anybody can come and put their listing free of cost? Yes, you know, um, uh, Raman, the thought process behind putting that feature over there is that a lot of people, you know, they have got Russian properties, they want to rent their houses, but they are looking for uh, unorganized sectors like putting their houses on Kijiji and, uh, you know, those sites wherein Number one, they are not getting the right people to connect with them. They have no ways to verify the background for those people who are putting their, their information. So we have created that feature wherein you can advertise your property as a, for a rental, rental uh, uh, purpose on our platform, wherein we have got, I would say, millions of users coming to our website. They, their property will be displayed to all the potential tenants if they need a help our professional realtors can get in touch and do the background check for all those people who are connecting them for as a tenant and they can rent their house with all the background checks to the people whom we can trust. Yeah. And so we are providing a free platform to connect the tenants and the potential landlords and there is no cost for it. Ah. That's that's quite an interesting feature as far as um, the tenants and the landlords are concerned. And of course, like, you know, uh, very soon there is going to be a tab there where tenant also yes. can actually go and log in and can see all those properties and everything. Am I right? Yes, that's right. Hmm. What about the, uh, you know, this artificial intelligence based CRM, which we use over there? OK, so. Uh... We are using a very high, I won't call it a CRM, it's a lead generation and lead plat uh, lead conversion platform that we use. The best thing about that platform is this, that it is AI based and it is a behavior automation. Again, it is more of a realtor that they can use and client also because client can get the regular information from the system itself. Once we put in the details about the client that you know what client is looking for, for this kind of house, maybe a semi house, four bedroom house. The system keep on checking the MLS that you know what 
is there a matching profile for that that uh, that requirement with any property as soon as they see that you know there's a matching profile that property has been texted to the client email to the client whatsapp to the client so there are multiple touch points wherein client can get the information hmm. after that even when when the the client is searching on the website the system can monitor that you know what client has seen what all properties can notify the realtor that you know what client has seen these three or four properties last night so that could be a potential list uh, i would say houses for those buyers connect with with those clients so it creates multiple touch points for realtors by which he can connect with the clients hmm. and it makes provides the information to the client at the right time because the kind of market we are in especially one day delay you can lose a house Hmm. so getting a property on the on on right away is very very important getting the information is very very important perfect so sachin uh, uh, i know there's a lot of updates which you want to give but uh, uh, today we are bringing a special guest um, i would say a very special guest why i emphasized so much on a very special guest because she's not joining us from canada she's joining us from india and uh, you know there are very few people who actually are putting the true meaning to their lives and doing something good for humanity and that too without any self interest when i see any of such personality i always admire them because uh, uh, whatever we do in our life uh, especially like you know when i talk about myself uh, every single thing what we do is for the business right there is always a hidden interest behind anything and everything whatever we do either we are doing for any charity or we are doing anything whatever uh, any action i would say but that really makes me proud when i see any individual when their action are totally oriented towards the humanity and that too without any self interest so let me introduce an amazing personality from india uh, kanika i would like to welcome you on the show thank you so much raman to uh, invite me for this and it's been a pleasure to be here as i always say that you know uh, i admire your work culture people and uh, the way you guys uh, take up the topics and which, which are very very important for the industry to, to understand it's not just about real estate it's about the business vision and uh, for everybody you know it's it's for everybody not just for the real estate industry even we tend to get a lot of knowledge uh, from your, your discussions and your sessions which you do very frequently you know i get to know a lot about our business from your sessions and i try to apply that in my system in my business in my ngo uh, though i'm not very active these days because i have gone through a lot of uh, emotional turmoil as of now but uh, you know i'm accumulating everything in me and i'm sure to implement that once i'll be back actively in business so thank you so much i'm i really enjoy your sessions every saturday and i ensure that um, i i be, be a part of it virtually not actively every time but virtually i'm be, i should be a part of it and understand a lot from you guys that's that's really like uh, uh, we are so thankful to you i know uh, there's a time difference as what's the time there right now kanika uh it's 11:15 raman right now okay 11:15 now i see Uh, so Kanika, you actually run uh, an NGO, and uh, I was actually before I introduced you, I was talking um, about this aspect of life. Uh, we are in business, Kanika. Whatever we do, yeah. there's a hidden, a hidden, like there, there is some interest behind it, right? We are not, right. we are doing because of the self-interest, right? And I, I'm pretty sure, like, there is nothing wrong in doing business, and I always appreciate people who do business. But you know, doing right. something without any self-interest. from where you get all that courage from where you get all that motivation because it's very hard for me right to uh, to think about uh, on those lines uh, you know actually I mean, if you look at uh, you know we all have something in us which is which is not coming out to begin with i'm sure you all must be thinking on that lines but that's not very prominent in your thinking right now so at the back back of our mind we always think about doing something for the society i mean your sessions are definitely benefiting lot of people every day when you come on online on live or on saturday sessions it's 
being you know giving lot of vision to people to their life to their business so this is also something you are doing uh, for people might be you know you might be thinking that way that you do it for your own sake but you are benefiting lot of people in society so that's something which is there in all of us it's only that how we look at it so you guys are doing it in terms of business i'm doing it in terms of you know creating awareness about environment which is very important for me for for me and for all you know i always think that we should work on something which should give us a happiness and this is something which gives me a happiness when i do these kind of sessions when i write something about uh, you know some motivational kind of thing or maybe about about uh, my ngo i feel that i'm just trying to give something to people which is out of business which is out of profits i'm trying to motivate people to save themselves for the future so you know we all are doing in some way that's why i always see in your sessions that you guys are uh, giving so much to society in turn by dis by discussing all such important uh, topics by generating so much of employment by benefiting economy in other way so you are giving giving it to society so you know we all have a different vision of giving to the society so your vision is to business and maybe my vision is to other way but it's happening actually that's that's quite interesting tell what do you think about what kanika is sharing with us uh, well i have to agree with the point right like uh, we're spreading something through uh here wherein um we're using a, a capitalistic society to um drive something uh, special um of course we have our sales agents we have our our uh franchise owners um but there's something a little bit deeper than that we're not just providing you know opportunity to make money we're providing opportunity to achieve um whatever our goals are like you said there's always something uh there's always something behind our intentions right and and capitalism is a way to Uh, share our ideas to share our culture with other people and uh you know some people might do that with uh, a business like this or um you know for whatever means you have uh, there, there's a tool to drive that hmm that's that's quite interesting kamal uh, what do you think about it um uh, i believe that uh, you know uh, means i just can cite you with the example day before yesterday i was having a discussion with one of our franchise who recently joined us and his brother runs um, a training school for uh, the driving training school for the trucking and he said something really very good i, I we never had a discussion about that but he said you know what you guys are doing here in this industry i am replicating i'm taking the good side of it and replicating in my business and there he see it growing now so he said like the model what you are uh, you know using here as a mentorship or a partnership i'm using this i have started using the same into my uh, training school and i have a couple of big so i was so happy to see that actually people can relate they don't see us only as a one side of the business a real estate they are actually taking the something good out of it and uh, replicating it into their business model so i'm really happy to see that you know uh, that we are helping so many different businesses to grow together you know So can you tell me something what is uh, give me give me a little bit more about uh, uh, sorry go ahead kanika I'm sorry raman I I I, I was just saying that I completely agree with the uh, Kamal's uh, uh, you know way of looking at things as i said that you know you you are giving lot to a society in terms of uh, not just business in terms of vision to their own life and you know creating a different uh, uh, you know allocation of uh, thoughts you know that's very very important to to generate that kind of uh, uh, you know vision to people's life and to create that kind of business if you're not giving that uh, allocation of ideas i'm sure that people might be lacking in Uh, you know coming in front and thinking that way so that 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 actually matters you are re rekindling the entire process which is being hampered or great by this pandemic so by these sessions they have been getting you know those ideas and, and creating that rekindling effect in the society is very very important that you guys are doing with these discussions hmm. well, thank you kanika I, i really appreciate you joining us and before i Uh, uh say goodbye to you can you please share a little bit about the ngo which you run yeah basically raman if you if you just uh, believe me you know uh, 
when i was going through this uh, uh, this this problem of water the the one day i just got a thought that you know i need to do something which would give more awareness to people about that how important is water it's it's like it's a life for all of us if you are not going to work on conserving it if you're not going to work on you know thinking deeply about it we will definitely end up to something which is which we can't even think of so it happened with me one day there was no water in my house so, you know i came I came from a trip and there was no water you won't believe that you know that's a real story so i just thought you know if if this is going to be a situation in future what our children are going to do with the materialistic things you have a basic things to life and that actually you know sparked an idea in me that i have to work i have to work to work society to give best to our children. i don't want to leave just a materialistic uh, you know world or to things to my children i want to leave something which would help them to survive for the time and that in a healthy manner because if there's no good drinking water i'm sure that our kids are not going to live for a, in a in a healthy way so that's part that that tinkles me in, in me that you know i'm going to create that program. i'm going to create uh, an ngo which would do these kind kind of exercises and believe me we go colleges corporates best of colleges in india and schools in india where we are creating and delivering such kind of workshops and you know talking to young minds because i always believe that you know we have to start with young minds to difference to the society if they are being uh, trained to that level i'm sure that future will be good for all of us yeah that's that's very interesting danika but you were talking about the young minds so i have to take all these three guys out like so you know you can just <laughs> talk about young minds right we are in the wrong group of people guys sorry i have to take you guys off <laughs> no absolutely i can see all young people i i can see all young people on screen and i see all young people sharing their uh, absolutely great ideas with this twinkling personalities every saturday and i really enjoy this twinkling personalities speaking and sharing a lot of uh, best ideas for business to grow thank you thank you kanika for joining us uh, and i really appreciate uh, you sharing your thought process and and sharing such a wonderful uh, uh, ideas and thought i really appreciate uh, especially your joining thank us thank you uh, keep inspiring nice. other yeah thank you very much kanika thank you thanks thanks guys and, and all the best uh, with your vision to take save take save max to many folds and uh, such sessions very frequently because i really enjoy working with all great personalities thank you thank you then ha huh. that's that's excellent right huh? it's it's always good to hear uh, uh, from uh, you know from these people from different backgrounds and uh, uh, thought processes and everything and that really like you know gives me a lot of motivation and energy so sachin why don't we make the session a little bit more interesting today let let's ask a couple of questions about save max as we are talking about save max vision and let's see how much people know about save max right uh, how yeah. is that so what is your first question when save max was launched so let's see if the viewers they know when save max was launched so guys if you know this answer please share your answer when when i say when just give me that of year which year we launched save max uh, and such in in the meanwhile um, as we have the topic for today which is save max vision so i would like you to talk a little bit more about what is the vision what we carry for the real estate industry itself okay so as far as i would say real estate industry is concerned again as a corporate we there are different goals that we carry right now raman uh, but for the industry that we are talking about we want to create as many entrepreneurs in real estate industry as possible we want to we want to have that vision wherein every realtor has that aspiration to become a entrepreneur and we provide every possible support every possible help to convert that aspiration into a reality that's what we want to do as a real for the real estate industry hmm. okay so again in one line if i had to say i want to see every realtor to be entrepreneur in canada whether with save max or without save max it doesn't matter that again it it i i am not saying that you know everybody has to work with save max to do, do that in i have seen in last around 3 years and i talked to so many realtors wherein they tell me that you know sachin 
the kind of inspiration or the kind of aspiration that we have got looking the way Savebacks is growing, we started our own company. I built my own team. Even that is an achievement for us because even though they are not working in the same max structure, but at least they have got that vision to get to the next level. So idea is not to have everybody working with same max. But idea is that if they can have that direction that, yes, I can go to a next level, I can become an entrepreneur. I think that is what we are looking for for a real estate industry. And that's one thing that we need to change in real estate industry. That's, that's, that's a great thought, Sachin. And I think... Uh... We all align on that vision. And I think this is what is the vision which we are carrying for the real estate industry. Now, what are the biggest challenges? Because, you know, every entrepreneurship, every new business starts with a problem. So yeah. what is the major problem? What is the what are the roadblocks when we talk about entrepreneurship in, in, the, in the real estate industry? I see realtors. They are realtors from last 10, 15 years, 20 years. There's no guidance for them to go to the next level. And you know what? That's so funny. I was talking to somebody. Uh, they actually uh, just recently joined SaveMax as a franchisee owners. And I asked them a question. Why did you decide to come and become part of Team SaveMax? And I was so humbled and surprised by the answer. So this gentleman said, Roman, you know what? We were thinking if you are inspiring us so much when we are not part of your company, what is going to happen when we are part of your team? And I said, wow, that's very interesting. So, of course, you have rightly said, Sachin, maybe because of one or the other reason, you don't want to become part of Team Save Max. No problem. You want to talk. You want to learn about entrepreneurship in real estate industry. You want to evaluate yourself. Where are you and where you should be? Because there's always a gap, right? One thing, Sachin, I can say with such a confidence that any individual, any realtor, whatever the level of capabilities and talent they have, if they are outside SaveMax system and they are inside SaveMax system, their performance can be at least one and a half times. Am I right making that statement, Sachin? You are absolutely right, Raman. And you know, because I do a lot of interviews when I when I make realtors join SaveMax, and I, I always tell them that, you know what, I'm not saying that maybe your performance will go double or you will make double money than what you are making outside. But one thing that I can promise you is this, that six months down the line, you will be a way better realtor. You will be a way better human being. Right. And if you are a better realtor, everything else will follow. Hmm. Absolutely. That's great, guys. So thank you very much, uh, uh, especially like, you know, uh, a little older guy than me, Mr. Tyler. Uh, of course, Kamal is my very senior person. So I always, you know, uh, Kamal, I think you are almost double the age than me, right? See, Raman, I love to see people happy, you know, around me. Yeah. So, <laughs> we, we, Kamal, and me, Kamal and me, we have the ability, we, we let the people happy in their own domain. <laughs> okay. Um, you guys are too much. <laughs> Tyler, they are making me speechless. Yeah, they have that effect, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, thank you, Tyler, for joining us for today. Uh, any any message before we say goodbye to you? Um, you know, uh, I just love what Save Max is doing and, and in, in the way that we're doing it, spreading our magic, spreading our vision in uh, positivity. Um, I think it's fantastic what we're doing here. And I think everybody should uh, be a part of it in some way in life. If you're having, you know, positive intentions, regardless of the outcome and, and what ends up happening, at least, you know, that you can say that you were doing positive things and, and having the right intention. So I, I think that's great. That's and I will have something from behalf of Tyler. Tyler is now going to um, the east end of the business and he is there. So I think he will be meeting a lot many people from new market or uh, and those side of the thing. So now Tyler is the right guy to reach. And if someone is, you know, they're looking to know more about our franchisee model or anything to doing the realtor side, he is the right guy to get in touch. Right, Tyler? 
Yeah, absolutely. And uh, if anybody wants to reach me uh, regarding opportunities in the York region and surrounding areas, my phone number is 416-565-6540. And uh, we have the tools to bridge the gaps for um, any difficulties uh, that that you might come across for, you know, becoming an entrepreneur or, or driving yourself in life as, a, as an entrepreneur. Perfect. Uh Thank you, thank you, Tyler. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, we were uh, talking about, we have asked the question when SaveMax was launched. So I have seen uh, a lot many answers. Somebody saying 2011, somebody saying 2009, somebody saying 2015. Uh, I have a couple of right answers too. Trilok has given the right answer 2010. Uh, so SaveMax was launched in 2010 and this is the 10th anniversary which we are celebrating. You can see uh, the batch here, which says the 10th anniversary, of course, uh, that was the celebration was done in uh, 2020. So right now it is 2021. But uh, we have launched SaveMax. Uh, I will give you the exact date as well. Uh, 24th of April 2010, uh, which is uh, Shreya's, my daughter's birthday as well. So we launched SaveMax on, uh, on Shreya's birthday, which was in 2010. And it was 24th of April. So I'm pretty sure you all got the right answer. So Kamal, before we say goodbye to everybody, what is the message? Okay, message is come, have a discussion, be a part of a vision. And I can say that you will enjoy this journey together. You know, there is a lot which is going on. And if you're really looking to join hands with a brand going globally on an international platform, I would say this is the time. Don't think much. Just give us a call and we will be there to help you. Thank you, Kamal. And would you like to share your phone number as well, Kamal? Oh, yeah, sure. My number is 416-333-8747. And we can definitely chat or meet. And as Raman said, coffee with Kamal. So a little different. <laughs> I'm all good for that. Sajin. There are a lot of many people who are thinking that SaveMax was talking a lot about game changer model. Yeah. So tell me something about the game changer model. So we have a big news coming on game changer model, uh, you know, uh, Raman in, in one week. We will be uh, announcing the names of, of all those people who have got, who are getting their first month earning from a game changer model because it's been started from January 1st, 2021. So we are going to announce all those names who have made their first check from the game changer model. And I'm sure that's going to motivate a lot of people that those who are still on the edge that you know what this game changer model is going to be success or you know how it's going to perform. That one month performance will tell everybody that where we stand on that game changer model and where we can lead to with that model. And I would say a lot of people, they will see, start seeing the power of that, that system. So keep your, I would say, hold yourself, look at those announcements and look at the people who are making those checks, those money through as a passive income without writing a single transaction. And not only that, guys, I think uh, there are a lot many other things which we are doing. Uh, as an organization, I want to share another interesting thing with you. Um, so on every check which we issue to our realtors, we write there very proudly that we process your commission check within 24 hours. So this is the new system which SaveMax is bringing in the market that any check, any commission check, which we receive in the office for any realtor will be processed within 24 hours and also we are bringing a lot of another new things into the business which is going to help our realtors to become more efficient to become more productive right right Kamal? uh Kamal, i think we lost your voice we can't hear you uh, i would say there is a lot of plate and uh, the best thing is let's meet discuss in person because i think this uh, Time and everything won't allow us to, you know, go through the long list of services what we are offering. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. I think we have passed five minutes extra, but it was yeah. such an interesting discussion. I did not realize actually we have passed the time. So thank you very much for joining Tyler, Kamal, Sachin, and everybody who participated into the discussion. A special thanks to Kanika Chopra, uh, who actually joined us from India.
it was such an inspirational and motivational discussion which we had and we really appreciate uh, whatever the good work you are doing in any part of the world and guys our platform is open for you guys if anybody wants to come and share anything please don't hesitate to get in touch with us and you are more than welcome to spread your message to share your thought process with all the viewers with those words i would like to say thank you very much to all who decided to join us today spread the message to your friends and family members and we will see you next week same time sharp at 12 o'clock with something interesting have an amazing weekend ahead bye 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 everyone don't to laugh and smile